Betaflight 4.1 is out and you want to upgrade. No, I mean it. You want to, it's really good. It might be the best flying version of Betaflight ever. And I'm even hearing some pilots saying that it gives KISS and Flight 1 competition. I know that's, I'm not saying it, they're saying it. I'm not just telling you they're saying it. So, what is the safest and easiest way to upgrade from whichever version of Betaflight you're running right now to Betaflight 4.1? That is what we're going to talk about today. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Let's start with a great big red flag warning about what you should definitely not do. If you're going to Betaflight 4.1, do not paste in a command line dump from an older version of Betaflight. I, I even asked one of the devs, I was like, well, could we paste in like most of it, but like leave out a couple of these? And he's like, no, even parts of the command line dump that you might think were safe might not be safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, first of all, I'm just going to show you how to export a command line dump. If you've never backed up your Betaflight configuration before, this is how you do it. And then I'm going to show you the parts of your command line dump that are definitely safe for you to paste in to Betaflight 4.1 to make the move as easy as possible. And the first thing some of you guys are gonna notice is that this quad is actually already on Betaflight 4.1. Never mind that, the, the process is the same. We're gonna to go to the command line and we're gonna type diff all. And this is going to dump out all of the parameters in Betaflight that you have changed from the defaults. This is how you'll back up your configuration is you could do a dump all, which dumps the entire configuration. But number one, that's a lot longer and takes up more space, especially if you're trying to share this file with somebody else for troubleshooting purposes. That just contains a lot of extra information that you don't need. Diff all is the general way to back up your configuration. After we do that, we're going to hit save to file, and we're just going to save that out to a file, just like on the desktop. It'll just save it to a text file. You could re, you could, I would rename this in real life if this wasn't just a demonstration, like I would give it the name of the quad or the date or something to help me find this config versus any other configs I might have saved on my hard drive. What you're looking at here is a list of all of the configuration items from a previous version of Betaflight that should be safe to carry over into Betaflight 4.1. And I actually bounced this list off of two different devs and I don't, I can't guarantee you they read every line, but neither of them freaked out when they saw it. So I'm putting this out there. These things are safe to carry forward with a couple of little caveats. If you have resource assignments, only carry over resource assignments like if you remapped your motors or if you've got a pin IO or something like that. If you did any special resource or timer assignments because you were playing with RPM filtering in Betaflight 4.0 or an early version of Betaflight 4.1, do not carry over that stuff. And if you're not sure, then just don't carry over anything. But you'd probably know if you remapped your motors. If you're playing with resource assignments, you probably know that you did it. Safe to carry over serial TX. If you're doing um, soft serial resource assignments or anything like that, totally safe to carry over. All of these sections of the config are safe to carry over. I didn't include the whole section because everything in that section is safe to carry over. So just feel free to copy paste all of this stuff in. I'm not going to go through a list of what it all is. Any of that that's in your diff is safe to paste into 4.1. When you get to the master section, this is fraught with risk. So only these lines are safe to carry over. Anything else? And if you don't want to go through it one by one, then I guess you could just manually just not copy any of master over and manually set this stuff off. But some of this stuff you're going to need, like if you're used to flying with a camera mix, then you're going to want to keep that. If you've got DJI and you're using SBUS BODFAST, you're going to want to keep that. Obviously your serial RX provider is going to stay the same, right? If you're using cross, etc. So these are the things that are safe to carry over in master. Definitely do not carry over anything that is in the profile section. That's your PID, that's your PIDs and PID controller stuff, that stuff is all changed in 4.1. Do not carry it over. And then in rate profile, the gist of rate profile is that your rates are safe to carry over, but there may be a couple other things in uh, rate profile that would not be safe to carry over. So what I would suggest you do is you start with your diff all, 
you put it side by side, just open up two windows, put it side by side with the safe parameters list, and you go through and you take out any of the things that aren't safe for you to carry forward. So when we get to master, we're just gonna need to go through and delete the lines that are not safe to carry forward, right? And once you've deleted those lines, then you're gonna select all, you're gonna copy, and then over here, you're gonna paste into the text uh, field, and you're just gonna hit enter, and it's gonna paste that config. I'm not gonna do that because that backup was not actually from this flight. I just grabbed a random flight controller, but you're just gonna hit enter, and it'll paste it all in and update your config. This video is part of a playlist with all of my Betaflight 4.1 videos. Um, and, and I want it to contain everything you could possibly want to know about Betaflight 4.1. There is a link to this playlist down in the video description. And if you want to get started learning about the new features of Betaflight 4.1, like the VTX tables, why doesn't your video transmitter work? <laughs> like, the, uh, like the RPM filters, I got videos about all of that. That's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you so much for watching. Happy flying. Thank you.